Hey, 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 so the TikTok girly says silicone mix and a door clear will get your wig back right. My aunt's funeral was coming up, so I had to pull out the best and baddest wig for my girl. I don't always store my wigs properly, so it was nappy. It was real nappy. So I wanted to try these two so I can see if I can bring them back to life before her funeral. These are the wigs. This is a highlighted wig, baby. It looked like a bird nest, but that's my business. We're not even going we're not even gonna talk about it. It's it's a mess. It's it's a mess. Then I didn't know which one I was gonna wear, so I also have this black one. I wanna say it's about 28 inches. It might be a 26. I don't remember, but either way, I was choosing between them two. So as you're gonna see, I'm gonna take my silicone mix and I'm gonna take my door clear. And you're going to mix both of those together. I didn't get the big one because I didn't want to waste my money if it didn't work. So I got the smaller silicone mix, but it is what it is. Even though I got the smaller silicone mix, I still mixed the whole Adore Clear into the smaller one. Because who? Who was going to waste their money? We're going to use all of this. So I slowly mixed all of that in. And I'm stirring from the bottom all around so I can get it all mixed together. So originally I was going to use my kettle and I boiled some water in there and I poured it in the sink. But I was like, nah, I'm doing two wigs. I'm going to need some more. So that's why you see product already in the sink. So then you see me pour in my pot of water. I then turned around and boiled another pot of water because I was going to submerge the wigs. So I was going to dip them in, but I wanted to cover. So now I'm throwing in the silicone mix mixed in with the door clear. And then you're going to see me stir all of that together. It's going to look kind of milky. So after I use my popsicle stick to stir it all in, I then turn around and I'm dipping the ends of my wig first because that's like the main important thing to get them ends. So I dip them in first and then I lay the wig in there. That second pot of water, I'm now going to get ready to pour on top of all of this so I can submerge everything together. All right, so once I poured that second pot of water on top, I submerged everything, let it soak. So I let it sit. It was supposed to sit on 25, 30 minutes, but y'all, I fell asleep. So it stayed in there all night, but that's my business. Anyways, this is what it looks like once you have just pulled it out of the water. It looks real shiny, real silky, real good because that mess was nappy. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Now, I sprayed this off. I rinsed it out real, real good. Now, I personally didn't use shampoo or anything like that. I just detangled it real good, laid it on a towel um, to let it air dry. And then I took some extra virgin olive oil and I rubbed it on top of the hair just in case it act like he wanted to be nappy. But these are the results. I'll try to put a picture in here um, from my aunt's funeral of how the hair looked.